What's going on, guys? It's your boy, Az. We are back. Uh, we're going to be doing another Red Star opening, and uh, it's pretty exciting stuff. Uh, we've got Abomination now. Uh, he, uh, You can purchase his his, uh, his offers and whatever, but uh, his Red Stars are in the game. And, of course, he's going to be part of this new Gamma Raid team. Or, excuse me, not Gamma Raid. This Gamma War Base team, and uh, obviously everyone knows about uh, Red Hulk being the, the next horseman. So this is usually good news for us because... Uh, we have Brawn, and then of course we have Abomination, so usually when these Red Stars uh, get released here, that means uh, sequentially we should have ourselves a Scourge pretty soon here, and, uh, and yeah, we're pretty excited about that. We've got lots of Red Stars saved up as well. The last Scourge, we had uh, we had like four new characters with, uh, with the Unlimited X-Men, so this time we only really have Brawn and Abomination, which is good because that means the Red Hulk Scourge is definitely on the horizon here. Having said that as well, data mine also has shown that there will be some new characters. Uh, so that means there's going to be an upcoming patch, which usually coincides with a Scourge launch. So it's very likely uh, our original theory of having this Scourge in September is going to hold true, which is really good because uh, I think everyone's excited for Red Hulk. And uh, it's going to mesh really well, I think, with the uh, with the rest of the other Gamma members. Hoping that this, uh, this Bio-ish team will also be assisting us in uh, some of the Doom 3 raids, and usually, like I said, I'm just checking the 15% um, red stars. But we've got Abomination there, and uh, we've got uh, we've got 195 on the docket here. So we're gonna we have a bunch of uh, orbs saved up. So luckily for us, we can take advantage of that. And I think we're gonna open up uh, probably like 20 to get us started. You don't want to go too crazy because you also want to save some for Brawn. I have I'm I'm not have, you know I have not I'm blah, 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 blah. I'm not the biggest fan of Abomination, but I think his overall kit looks pretty solid, and I think, uh, you know, you don't want to overspend your Red Star Orbs, but for sure, I think uh, if you're a big fan of them, go crazy, but really, I think you should be saving uh, saving it for Braun as well, because uh, he should be coming after, he should be coming after Abomination, and uh, based on our, uh, based on Scopely's pattern, um, that will probably be a Scourge right after that, after the two Red Stars, and and uh, maybe like another week of just gamma raid character, or not gamma raid, you saying gamma raid, gamma based characters, and then of course maybe they'll they'll have the scourge following the update, uh, like they always usually do. So that's ten. We only got a one on him. So let's try another. Uh, let's try some more. And uh, we do have a bunch saved up. Actually, I don't mind opening up too much because we have been just hoarding these. Haven't really been using them. We've gotten some decent luck with some pre other pulls. There you go. We got a four here. So really, our luck's actually been pretty solid. I think that's the reason why we have so many saved up because our luck's been good. I should really just stop here. So that takes us to about 15 orbs, which is great. It means we can save ourselves five. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to maybe open up, maybe uh, we'll open up one elite here. See, maybe we can get ourselves a five, but uh, obviously I don't, I'm not going to be too heartbroken. 50% chance. Perfect. All right. So we'll open up one and see where this takes us. The important thing here is just to be very, uh, uh, you know, just hold yourself back from spending too many orbs. I know sometimes I can get carried away, but that's the way it goes. Quickly switch gears here. We'll go into the roster so we can have a look at his kit. But, uh, yeah, as you guys see here, we got Brawn. He should be coming up. And then we've got Abomination here. I don't know if I'm a fan of his kit. Or uh, not his kit, his skin. His skin looks kind of, uh, might just be me looks kind of ugly <laughs> i don't know but anyways furious swipes uh attacking primary for piercing and he also changed to adjacent target so this is kind of nice he hits targets up beside them uh and then he has a chance to also clear up the defense up so that's kind of always a bonus uh always clear defense up and then as you increase it uh he'll also clear the defense up from the secondary targets as well which is kind of nice so not too bad uh deafening clap Attacking all enemies and applying offense down, so that's nice. Uh, and this is piercing damage as well, so it'll really hit. And of course, as well, uh, he's gonna apply defense down uh, and and targets with defense down. Um, actually, uh, uh, they get they you know he, he has an increased crit chance, so that's kind of nice. Offense down for two turns, uh, defense down for two turns, and then of course, if you um, if you uh, get this thing maxed out, he gets that 50% crit chance against targets with defense up or down so yeah so that's kind of nice 
Pulverize is his ultimate attacking primary target for 180% piercing. War defense targets. Uh, whoops. Uh, the this attack targets the enemy with the highest focus instead of primary target. So that'll be interesting. So basically, a lot of those really strong characters that can uh, usually are controllers or they got a lot of focus. Um, that'll kind of go right through to them. Applying defense down again. Uh, this actually stuns as well, so applies the stun to the primary target. Uh, flipping evasion, uh, deflect, and minor deflect. So that's kind of interesting, especially for war. We got that new minor deflect uh, um, uh, condition, and then always stun. So this will be definitely be worth T4ing because you want to make sure you can land that stun, and then again this flip, where you have this. Uh, Net, you know these these crazy conditions that normally usually actually cancel out stuns, deflect evasion. Um, yeah, and the best part is is, is it can't, this attack can't be blocked or dodge, so that's a bonus there. And then of course is passive, Christique Rage on turn heal self for ten percent, gain ten percent health, gain ten percent focus for the gamma allies. Uh, they also get ten percent health. Um, on turn flip one random positive from a random enemy. With positive effects, so that's kind of nice. Um, also, he gets more health versus the Gamma Allies. 20% focus uh, on turn again, flipping a positive uh, to three random enemies. So that's kind of nice. Uh, more health uh, drain for uh, himself, and then of course uh, he gets more uh, health as well for his allies, and then more drain for his allies, and then of course he also flips uh, to all enemies, positive enemies. So pretty. I think he's uh his kit's okay. I think I think I don't think it's like anything crazy but definitely for sure uh he you can kind of see how um these negative flippings the offense down defense down uh and then the fact that he has a stun that can not be dodged as well uh he's gonna be um we'll see we'll see how he fits in this new war based team but i think right now his overall kit's pretty solid and of course you combine that with the other members um hard to say hard to say right now how they are on paper but right now i think uh, it'll be interesting to see once we actually get this team leveled up and geared uh, as with any team that's been with a horseman they seem to excel in the specific raids or arena or whichever game mode so yeah i mean or not raids i guess cosmic crucible there hasn't really been a raid based scourge yet but uh yeah we'll see how these ones go but overall i'm pretty excited and again i think bronze gonna be next one and then we should technically have uh red skulls probably red skull probably right after maybe a week or two after that one and uh it depends on the update and the patch as well, but usually that's their pattern. That's all we got, guys. Thank you for watching, and uh, good luck with the Red Stars. We'll catch you guys in the next one.